welcome to our our Wednesday STEM program. My name is Noelle, and we are going to be making marshmallow launchers. So, yeah, I and oh, and also I'm going to be showing you a couple of other fun items that you can play with as well. Um, but before we get started, let me show you what we're going to be working with. So we'll need scissors, a hole punch. A handful of assorted sizes of rubber bands, two toilet paper tubes, duct tape, pencil, and of course the marshmallows. All right, so get this stuff out of the way. All right. All right. So this is what we're going to be making. It is. We just break it down. Oh. Yes, a pencil on your top there. Okay. So you're going to be making a toilet paper marshmallow slingshot, right? So you'll this is what you're gonna do. I already have one made up, and this one is kind of played out and it's kind of been falling apart, and I've been having too much fun with it. So I'm gonna show you how to make one. And then I wanted to try something else, and I haven't done before, but make a much bigger one. I haven't tried this, so I have no idea how far or how, how well this is going to shoot. So we're going to try it, okay? But let me show you the basics of the small one. So what we got is we have two paper rolls there, and then we have, they look the same size, right? But this one's smaller. So what we need to do, and I've already done this for beforehand, is you need to cut straight down the middle so you can then squish it together and then run some run some tape along here which before I started filming today I have tape you're gonna need your duct tape you're gonna cut about mm, let me say that's about maybe four inches worth of duct tape so what you're gonna do is you're going to push it in line up your edges just like this and then you're gonna run it halfway on that seam. And don't worry if it kind of spills over on the edges, that's fine. And then you're gonna tuck in your edges just like that, okay? Now then, here's the fun part. It fits now. So this will be this, okay? So it's about the same size. Now then, as you can see, there's holes there. So we have to punch those holes, all right? So with our hole punch, which you'll do, is you're going to punch on the tape because that's where your strong side is. I'm gonna go here, about, eh, about an inch up, give it a click, and then if you want to, which is not a bad idea, maybe I should do this too. You're going to take a little bit of your duct tape. Ooh, sorry for that ugly sound. Get yourself a little bit of a length of duct tape here. it in just like that and then straight on the other side on the opposite side of that hole give it another hole punch right about there all right now this hole is not big enough for the pencil so you have to wiggle it in okay so you're gonna wiggle it in and push it through to the other side so now you have launcher okay so that would be just like that so we're going to do a tape on the other roll that is not going to be launching and just a quick tip if you if you can see inside there there's the white and then there's the brown you're going to cut right up to that line and make several of them because then that way you can just fold in your flaps and then play flat. But you gotta get all the way down. Just like that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I found I found that the paper towel uh, the paper roll is not strong enough. You need the tape to make it stronger. Because as you can see here, there's little dents 
and the tape is taking that kind of brunt, otherwise it would have mashed in my paper roll a long time ago. And I've been really playing with this. So I'm gonna do it again on the top, and I'll show you why in just a second for that. And again, I'm gonna do a little trick again where you cut in right up to the edge of that paper roll. If it cuts into the paper roll, it's not a big deal. Okay, so fold in all your edges just like that. Whoops. Okay, found it. Duct tape sometimes is not friendly. So you gotta play with it a little bit. Alright, so here you go. Tucking it in. So now it looks just like this. But you see we have these little flaps. Okay? Like I said, I've been playing with mine, so mine broke it down a little bit. So what you're gonna do is on the tape again with your scissors, you're going to cut about, mm, about a half inch in. Do it again so you have a little flap. Just like that, see a little thing? Now you want to make sure it's right across from it. Again, there, and there. Okay, so these are going to be where your rubber bands sit. So they're going to hang out right there, all right? I know it might be going a little bit fast, but you know what? That's what the pause button is for. All right, so you take your launcher, you're going to, this is what you're going to pull back on, all right? So you're going to slide that up there, and then your rubber bands, you're going to hook around the pencil that you have in the other, okay? So they show you that again. The rubber band here on that other flap you just cut, go around, and hey presto, you have a marshmallow launcher. I won't do it now, but we are going to do this later, so you're going to see this in action. But when you launch it, drop it in, pull it back, and there you go. Alrighty, so I'm going to do the same thing, but I have never tried it with the big guys like this. So before we launch these, I'm going to finish this up really fast, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did here, but with a bigger setup. So. I will meet you back, but we'll be in a different room, and then we will see how these things launch. And if you stick around, I'm going to show you what you can do with a notebook ring, rubber bands, and a chair. So here you go. So I'll meet you back up in a few, and we'll start to fire off some of these with marshmallows. But you have your small one here. So I'm going to try them in the smallest to biggest order, all right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to try the one that we made first. Here we go. Got to load up the rubber bands. All right. So. When you do this though, the pencil has to stay in line with your flaps there. I just forgot to say that earlier. So when you launch these and you pull back on the small one, if you pull back too far, this will happen. You don't want that. So you're gonna have to be very less aggressive with your launch with your small launcher, okay? So I'm gonna launch it that way and we'll see how far we get. Sometimes you get a good launch, sometimes you don't. So here you go. Here we go. One, two, three. A little one. Let's try another one here. Ready? Here we go again. One, two, three, go. You remember this one we just made? Oops. So that is this. And this is an upside down chair. And what I've done is I've tied it to the legs. And oh, please, by the way, get permission with a marshmallow launcher before you do this. Last thing I need is people, parents, going, why are my kids launching food across the room? This, please get permission. It's a marshmallow, but still get permission. So this one I've had eh, success with, 
So we're going to see how we drew it. Okay, so what you're going to do is this ring, this is what your marshmallow is going to sit on. So I'm going to try it. Sometimes I get good launches, eh, and sometimes I don't. But you got to play with it and see what works. Sometimes if you just hold on to the ring, so it's kind of a iffy one. I so thought that if I were to get rid of these here, and oops, sorry, it keeps wiggling, and then just use these right in here, and I doubled up the rubber bands, you will get a possible better launch that way because you'll have more spring force to it, okay? Now then, this guy, I gotta tell you, I had a lot of fun with this one. All right, so again, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So you ready? Here we go. And go. when I nailed it was pretty good but as you can see that's a good distance on both the small size and the big size this guy is okay but still have fun see what works all right so I have one more here it's a little guy it's all popsicles a bottle cap and rubber bands so if you got them go in live figure out how to make them I'm not going to show you how so this is something you got to figure out so what I've done is I've taken one marshmallow and cut it in two fours. Dry them out because the open sticky side that you cut will be sticky and then it won't launch because it'll stick to your launcher. So give it a try. The, the big marshmallows sometimes don't work because they're too heavy. So I have no idea how far this is going to go. We're going to give it a try. Ow! Yes! <laughs> Nail the camera person. Again, it's popsicles, rubber bands, and a water bottle top. So, okay. One more. Uh, I'll say this one. Okay, so what makes this work is what's called a transformation of energy. You have three things that work here. You have the actual work of you pulling back on the rubber band. Then when you have your marshmallow, that's waiting for that transference of energy it's just hanging out there nothing's happening to it yet so when you pull back when you pull back that is what's called your force okay so your force you are now transferring your work to the rubber bands and you're going to build that force of energy to transfer it to your marshmallow to make it launch so if you have a little bit of force like not a lot of pull then it's just it's going to do that there's nothing there so if you want it to really fly you're going to have to give it force so you pulling back on that marshmallow on that rubber band to make the marshmallow fly that is your transference of energy forward that transfers over to this your marshmallow that's your transference of energy from your work that you put into pulling down that pencil and rubber band the rubber band is then sending that energy that elastic push to the marshmallow and making it fly all right so the greater the force you put on something the farther distance it's going to fly okay and the speed at which you put that force is also going to make it fly so if you put a lot of force behind it and everything works out okay inside this barrel right here you might get a little bit or I've also changed the strength of our pants so you might have to play with a little bit or yeah. so the, the thicker the rubber band is not necessarily more powerful because that lessens your pull on your force. So I'm going to transfer back to the small rubber bands because I think you're going to get a better result because your work is more efficient with your rubber bands. All right. So I'm going to go back to the smaller rubber bands, the red ones that I had before. 
I got a really good launch with this. Alright. So I have more marshmallows. Alright. As I throw them across the room. Alright. So with your thinner rubber bands, I'm guessing just my guess is you're gonna get a better push because you have less resistance here. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. So the smaller the rubber band is usually better with this because the resistance is less and you can get more of a force on the transference to the marshmallow. And there you have it. Have a good day.